Gemma Collins is in a wheelchair after nasty skating fall and might have to quit dancing on ice. As boyfriend Darg slams idiots who think she faked accident, Gemma Collins' dancing on ice injuries are now so bad that she is being forced to use a wheelchair. The Toy Legend, 37, who fell on her face during Sunday evening's episode of the show Mid Routine with pro skater Matt Heavers, was whisked straight to the physiotherapist. And it seems that things have taken a turn for the worse. There are even rumors that she will have to quit the competition. Her boyfriend James R. Gargent has told The Sun, Jim is black and blue all over. She's struggling to walk so I had to carry her to the car earlier, and she's been using her mother, Joan's wheelchair on and off all day because she's in so much pain. She's seeing a private doctor tomorrow who will determine what will happen next. It will be her worst nightmare if she's forced to pull out of the show. She doesn't want to be a sick note. She wants to continue and we strongly believe she's a real contender to win. Gemma was mostly surrounded by support from social media users on Sunday, but some hit out at her, claiming she was faking it for publicity, something Arg has since vehemently denied. Anyone who thinks Gemma faked the fall and risked life-threatening injuries is an idiot. She had a feeling that something was going to go wrong on the night. And she was right. She admitted she was devastated embarrassed and in absolute agony after her fall when she emerged on Instagram on Monday morning. She compared herself to Tyson Fury after she managed to get up after face planting the ice during the final moments of her routine to Celine Dion's All Coming Back to Me. Her concerned boyfriend James Argent she showed off her bruised and swollen legs on Instagram on Monday, while Gemma told fans she is heartbroken. Sharing the moment she took a tumble, she wrote, absolutely devastated and embarrassed. My heart is broken but when I went down I thought of Tyson Fury and knew I had to get back up and carry on. Gemma continued, Can't thank you enough for your support on social media and picking up the phone to vote. I'm in a lot of pain but bring on fantasy week. Meanwhile Larg voiced his concern about her injuries as he showed off her bruising on Instagram. He said, Gemma's legs are terrible, look, all around her knees, they're in a bad, bad way. This one isn't so bad but that one I'm worried about. He also shared a snap of them with her skating partner Matt Evers, and wrote, I love you at Miss Jim Collins. When I saw her fall like that face first I honestly thought she might be unconscious or lost some teeth. The way she got up and carried on was amazing. You worked so hard this week and improved so much. The GC fell in the final moments of her performance with partner Matt in what appeared to be a nasty knock to her face and her confidence. Viewers watched the reality star hold on to Matt and Ness lay into his shoulder after her fall but managed to compose herself for her chat with the judges afterwards, gaining the highest score she has received yet this season 16.5. Had judges Jane Torville and Christopher Dean both commented Gemma had worked hard and improved since last week. She was rushed to physio after it happened but then returned to the rink for the vote results with her and Matt getting through to next week despite the tumble. Following her performance, Gemma brushed aside her dancing on ice woes by heading straight out for a curry, and not one, but six large brandies. The star had an ice pack on her knees in a bid to reduce the swelling. While the toey star was left in floods of tears following her painful tumble, Piers Morgan commended her for having the balls to get back up and continue her performance on Good Morning Britain on Monday. He said, that took balls, I'm serious. You fall on national TV, you fall flat on your face on the ice. This is why I don't ice skate, I couldn't do what she does. She's been fat shamed so badly on social media, the amount of people just mocking her. But compare her to Tess Holiday, who puts pictures on Instagram eating cakes or whatever and has no desire to lose weight. Gemma Collins is actually trying, she'll lose weight doing this, this is a heart grueling show to do. He added he thought her improvement on the show this week, exemplified how she was the perfect contestant. He said, she's my idea of what a contestant should be. People saw that she's getting better, then they saw the guts of her getting back up. They can mock her all day like but I couldn't do what she did. If you're a professional trained dancer doing these shows, it's fine, it's entertaining but this is far more interesting. Watching Gemma Collins' progress in this show is far more interesting to me. Hosts Holly Willoughby and Philip Schofield also touched upon the moment on this morning. It's such a disappointment, I felt disappointed for her. The routine to that point was great, she had worked so hard. She left the GC behind and that was Gemma on the rink. Holly added, 
It's funny though we see lots of tumbles in rehearsals, but when it comes to the live show it doesn't actually happen. Matt skated in front of her because she fell so close to the barrier. The pair then showed a clip of her skating partner speaking backstage shortly after the fall. Matt said, I'm just so gutted for her, because she has worked so hard this week, and technically she has raised the bar, she's devastated because she really wanted to give everything to this performance.